you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 19th friday solemnity of st joseph husband of mary let's begin this day with the blessings of god A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 1 verses 16, 18 to 21 and 24. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. And now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with a child from the holy spirit her husband joseph being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace planned to dismiss her quietly but just when he had resolved to do this an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream and said joseph son of david do not be afraid to take mary as your wife for the child conceived in her is from the holy spirit she will bear a son and you are to name him jesus for he will save his people from their sins when joseph awoke from sleep he did as the angel of the lord commanded him he took her as his wife the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends when joseph awoke he did as the an angel of the lord had directed him these are the words that stand out for me from today's gospel we do not know a lot about uh, joseph we know that his father's name was uh, jacob and that he was a husband of mary we know that he was a carpenter and that he lived in nazareth we know that before he and mary lived together after their engagement he found that she was pregnant and instead of shaming her uh, causing scandal he decided to divorce her quietly we also know that he was a righteous man who followed the law he observed the religious law we you know he went to jerusalem for the jewish festivals he also followed civil law he went to bethlehem for the census we also know that joseph had dreams god spoke to him in his dreams and he followed his dreams what's also interesting to me is that uh, nowhere in the gospel do we ever hear anything joseph says he never says anything but he is a man of action he does what the angel tells him He takes Mary as his wife. He goes to Bethlehem. He finds a place to stay for the night. He takes his family to Egypt. He is a man of action, not a man of words. For centuries, scholars and artists have tried to figure out Joseph's words. One of uh, my favorite Christmas songs is uh, by Michael Cord Joseph's song. How can it be this baby is me in my arms? sleeping now so peacefully the son of god angel said how could be o oh lord i know he is not my own not of my flesh not of my bone still father let this baby be the son of my love then then joseph prays father show me where i fit into the plans of yours how can a man be father to be the son of god lord for all my life i have been a simple carpenter how can i raise a king how can i raise a king so we also like this song because to us it shows what joseph models perfectly he was a man after god's will he longed to know god's will and search to see how he fit into the father's plan and just like god had a plan for joseph god has a plan for each one of us the plan does not need to be more than that he wants us to be upright and righteous He wants us to be loving parents, loving husbands and wives. God wants us to follow the law, observe the commandments. But 
just like joseph we may feel that we don't have anything to contribute that we are nothing but simple carpenters we may feel insignificant that we have nothing to offer still still god has a plan for us god gives us dreams and speaks to us in our dreams yes the promise was fulfilled since joseph may have been a simple carpenter who did not amount to much during his life but today he is venerated as one of the greatest saints in the church today we celebrate the solemnity of saint joseph as been of mary there are not a lot of saints for whom he we have solemnities the church has been observing this feast since the 10th century yes and joseph gets another feast a memorial on may 1st the feast of saint joseph the worker saint joseph is a pattern of saints of husbands of fathers a pattern saint of families a pattern saint of homes a pattern saint of workers yes he is the unofficial pattern say pattern against doubt and hesitation yes joseph is believed to pray also for pregnant women travelers immigrants and people buying and selling houses and so as we journey through lent especially when we gather around the eucharistic table let's pray to saint joseph let him guide us and help us open our hearts to god's plan that we may be upright and righteous that we may be men and women after god's will that we may be able to pray father show me how i fit into this plan of yours as a dream let god speak to you in your dreams and then get up and do as the angel of the lord directs you god has a great plan for everyone even for a simple carpenter a simple man amen happy wisdom